All right, ladies, today I want to dive into a topic that I believe is important to every woman that wants to be in a relationship, and that is what do men think a high value woman is? Now, before you start attacking me in the comments, like, oh, it's mild, you know, why do men decide our value? When I say high value, I don't mean your value as a human being, okay? I mean your value as a partner in the eyes of a man. And this is not something that you show in a resume, you know, or a list of achievements. Instead, it's something that a man needs to sense on his own. It's more about the unspoken things, how you carry yourself, you know, the energy that you exude and the vibes that you send into the world. Telling a man your worth doesn't really work okay he needs to feel it so all those Instagram posts that you see about you know self-worth a lot of the times it's just a lot of talk okay it's it's like trying to describe the taste of chocolate to someone who's never had it he needs to experience it and learn by himself if you go about announcing your worth it only makes you look desperate for attention and that's not the effect that you want to have so that being said you know I'm gonna talk about the seven qualities that most men consider high value in a woman so let's begin so what does it mean to know your worth okay it's about knowing your strengths okay being proud of what makes you different and what you bring to the table and i've seen this scenario unfold many times a lot of women think that they know their worth right until they are faced with rejection and suddenly your confidence completely crumbles but think about this if you had a piece of gold in your hand and you were to give it to a man would you need to explain to him like oh listen this is gold you know a precious metal on earth no like you wouldn't have to explain anything right if the man were to say that he didn't want the gold you will think well this guy is clearly blind you know so i'm taking this gold to someone else that knows better now ladies i will say that sometimes though like the confidence and self-worth comes from accomplishing difficult goals and let me show you a picture of me four years ago this is what it looked like four years ago okay now did I love myself back then yeah but do I feel more confident now that I've been you know working out for a few years you know gained 25 pounds of muscle and I'm quite successful in my coaching field I don't want to sound cocky okay but it definitely helps okay because standing in front of the mirror and saying affirmations like yeah I'm great I'm awesome can work to a certain extent but when you go out there and you prove it to yourself I promise you it will influence tremendously your self-image and self-worth all right beautiful for a second point one thing I want you to understand about us men is that intrinsically we want things that are out of our reach okay things that we have to work hard for pay attention to the movies and videos that we watch okay it's always the guy you know the hero climbing a mountain fighting the villain mission impossible right all difficult tasks where he succeeds at the end so when you make him wait for a kiss you make him wait to be intimate you have strong boundaries and don't tolerate inconsistency in his eyes he will perceive you as a high value woman and even if he decides to walk away at least you will keep your dignity and by the way think about this for women as well okay for all of you when you walk into a store have you noticed that usually the most expensive items are always kept behind the glass you know like the Louis Vuitton bag or whatever like only items on discount are always displayed openly right up at the front of the store begging to be bought so don't give away too much quickly this is human psychology okay but also don't try to fake being busy build an exciting life for yourself and you see that when a man is not the center of your world he will seek your attention constantly I know that it can be tempting to talk about your boundaries, okay? But you're only inviting him to test them if you do this. Instead of spelling out your boundaries, show them through your actions. You know, to high value men, actions resonate much deeper than words, okay? If a boundary is truly important to you, show it rather than just talking about it. For example, if you're on a date and something makes you uncomfortable, instead of launching into, you know, a verbal explanation of all of your boundaries and why this is a important for you subtly show that it's a no-go zone okay it could be a change in body language you know or you, you give him a look or you change the conversation trust me a man who respects you will pick up on these cues okay like it's happened to me some women have given me a look that I'm like I get it I'm not going there anymore <laughs> you know so 
Actions are universal and they speak a language that everybody understands. So by showing your boundaries, you're not just talking the talk, but walking the walk. And this is where I always talk about the power of saying no. Okay, don't hesitate to say no when a man asks for something that maybe compromises your values or makes you uncomfortable. It's not a rejection, okay? It's a declaration of your boundaries. For example, I'll give you another one. If you say that you don't like kissing on a first date and then you end up kissing him on the first date, through your actions, you just show him that you don't really stick to your boundaries. So everything that you say from there on, he will not really believe you. From a man's perspective, when a woman is willing to end a relationship, it speaks volumes about her self-worth. I can tell you that one thing that can make any man respect you is the knowledge that he can lose you. If a man takes you for granted, then he probably feels that like you'll always be there no matter how he treats you. And if something ever happens and you think about you know, giving a guy a second chance, at least wait a few months where he feels that he completely lost you. Like he needs to feel that emotion of loss. I see that so many women get cheated on or disrespected and they forgive the guy two days later. I just think that he's confused, you know, but he always comes back. So let me let me stop me. you right there. He's not confused and he doesn't love you, okay? The only reason he keeps coming back is because he hasn't been able to replace you yet. But he's trying, okay? Every time that he disappears, do you think that he's just, you know, meditating or like reflecting on the relationship? He's not. He's trying to replace you with another woman. And one day he'll find someone else. And when that day comes, you're gonna feel so much guilt and shame that you didn't close the door, okay? And that's where I don't want you to get. Here's a fact I know to be true. Chasing a man reduces a woman's worth and value in his eyes, okay? If a man pulls away, your response shouldn't be to chase after him, but to stand firm in your ground. Chasing someone sends the message that your self-worth depends on their validation. You know, you don't need to react to a man pulling away by desperately pursuing him. Instead, focus on the facts and be willing to move on if the situation calls for it. Also, a high value woman doesn't offer excuses for a man's behavior. You know, it's not like, oh, he's going through a lot, Ismail. You know, he's not sure about the relationship. He has trust issues from the past. I hear so many of these excuses in my coaching sessions. And even if any of them are true, you know what a high value woman does? She tells that man, listen, I think you need to go work on yourself and figure things out. It was nice getting to know you. You don't say, you know, come back when you're ready. I'll be waiting for you. None of that stuff, man. Like if he's ever ready, he will be the one having to convince you that he's ready, you know, and he better shows a lot of proof through his actions, right? We're not here to just like coming and try to convince you with his words. Remember, pursuing is masculine energy. A high value woman stays in her feminine energy by sitting back and letting him present his case well, he's the right man for you. All right, ladies, having come this far, like I said last time in my video, I will start leaving a question or a quote at the end of each video so you can spend, you know, some time reflecting on it. So here's the question that I want you to think about today. Do you need to work on yourself to become more valuable or are you more valuable by simply thinking that you are? Thank you for subscribing and leaving your likes and wonderful comments. It really helps my channel to grow so other women like yourself can learn about love, intimacy, and relationships. Because like I always say, for your relationships to change, you need to change. Have a beautiful day.